Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another DC comic review. And in this DC comic review, I am going to be reviewing Batman Nightwatch, issue 1, and Batman Nightwatch, issue 2. So I'll get things um, organised for the first one that will be reviewed. To which I'll get to show you, you um, the stories of both all the stories that are in both to which um, in this there are two stories in each of these and I'll be covering both of them so moving into the first one does this cover in any way shape or form connect to something that's happening inside with the story sure enough it does to give up to which I give it a 7.5 out of 10 I'll now go to showing some of the internal art um, around the first story as well as to the second story so as this story begins in Gotham uh, we've got Batman who manages to go up against Clayface and as you can see the title is called Cloud of Bats and this is addressing the first story so as Batman pursues Clayface uh, he also goes past some windows, to which we get to see some kids up. The story continues. Until eventually we reach a Robin. But is it a Robin? No, it's still Clayface. Batman continues. Until eventually we move to the end. So... For the art in this, it gets a 7.5 out of 10. But for the story, um, of course, the key locations is a lot of this is happening in Gotham, and one of the part, uh, one of the places we end up passing is uh, Robinson Park. Uh, the cast of characters consisting of Clayface, Bat Batman, Batgirl, and even Alfred, which you see turn up in. The pages when he's talking to him now it's time to move to the second story oh and for that story ready i gave it a 7 out of 10 moving into the next one and as we begin the story here we have catwoman and batgirl fighting against each other the story continues and we get to see that batman is working on a bit of a project here so whilst this is happening, Nightwing is going up against some of Mr. Freeze's goons. Batgirl heads out, Batman heads out. We get to see what's happening at Mr. Freeze's base. And until Batman encounters Mr. Freeze. Starts to give him a bit of a fight. Barbara Gordon comes in to help um, free Nightwing of the ice. And last but not least, Batman captures the bad guy. So for this story, again, um, the art still stays the same for the rating, which is a 7.5. But for the story, let's move into a couple of small areas. Did we end up having any locations? Yes, we had the Batcave and of course, um, Mr. Freeze's base, but we didn't get any in there any proper indication as to where it was cast of characters were consisting of batwoman batgirl batman um catwoman batgirl batman um alfred nightwing mr freeze and of course alfred for the overall story rating for this i gave it a 7 out of 10 now it's time to move into the next issue so, jumping into issue 2, and this cover, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that's happening inside with the story? Sure enough it does, to which I give a 7.5 out of 10. I'll now move into the first story, uh, to which you'll get the rating of the art as well as the story itself. So, as the story begins, this is set around the Penguin Hero, and we start to see something occurring and one nice thing with this is that we have batman um robin damian wayne working with his old man 
and we've got some great footage here as well as to what's happening. I think this would probably be a good little animated series. And of course we've got Damien Wayne pointing some things out. Uh, to which his father seems to play off as a little bit oblivious to. But not neglecting what he's saying. As the story continues we have um, Oswald Cobblepot or the Penguin. Uh, doing things in the spotlight to, well, of course, make himself look like the hero. And, uh, of course, another good thing I've got to point out is that Damien Wayne is also in the Rebirth costume. The story advances. And, of course, Penguin takes out the men once again. As Batman and Robin observe. Until eventually his plot is unfolded. For this story I gave the art a 7.5 out of 10. For the story itself I gave a 7 out of 10. Um, the key things that we had in this were the state park in the locations in Gotham. Uh, our cast of characters were Penguin, Batman, Damien Wayne Robin um, and the DA officer. And we didn't actually encounter Alfred in this issue. But moving into the next issue, we've got some clown, some clowning around happening. And as the story begins, we start to encounter some clowns on the street. And one of the things that this Night Watch uh, is indicating quite a bit is that we've got younger characters who are observing the situations around them. So as the story continues, Huntress comes in. And of course we've got Damien Wayne Robin, we've got Nightwing. Until eventually the Joker comes to town. Batman gets to work, so does Damien Wayne. Along with Huntress and Nightwing. As Joker tries to break out his inmates. Batman gets to work to take him out. And along with some help from Damien Wayne and Nightwing, or Robin and Nightwing. We get some more action with uh, Huntress, Robin, and of course Batman. And can't forget Nightwing. And last but not least, sending the convicts back. <laughs> For this story, I really quite enjoyed this. It was a good family fun story. Especially with some of the Bat family members. Uh, so for the art I gave a 7.5. And for the story I gave a 7.5. The locations that we had show up in this. We had a cake shop. Um, a bus stop. The cast of characters consisting of Damien Wayne Robin. Huntress. Uh, who I believe is Helena. Uh, Nightwing. Dick Grayson. Batman. Joker and some of his clowns and for the overall story rating it gets a 7.5 out of 10. Well until then let's keep it colorful and have yourself an awesome day.